in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm going to be working on my sideboard here. And as you can see, I've already done a little bit of work and I will explain what I've done, which is no big deal, but I will explain it to you. And I, again, and I hope you all don't get bored with this kind of stuff because I do you reuse the same, what I call staple pieces in my decor, time in and season after season after season, vignette after vignette after vignette, centerpiece after centerpiece after centerpiece. I buy enough stuff to go in all of my spaces that I'm just, I just can't afford and do not have the desire to store everything if I were to replace every single thing on top of the sideboard every single time I went to redecorate it. I just can't afford it and I just, I, I don't have the space to store it. I've got enough stuff <laughs> at almost 58 years old. I don't want to be gathering more and more and more things. I've got to put a squash on that a little bit, you know? So this is a sideboard that we've had for many, a, no, probably a couple decades at least. And we bought it to match my big dining room suit here, my, my table and chairs and big hutch. And we bought the mirror when we bought the sideboard. So the mirror kind of matches the sideboard. The sconces I bought, oops, you can't see the sconces, can you? Ah. Sconces I bought at Hobby Lobby when we moved into this house. I didn't have, because this is a color that I love to use in these two front rooms, my living room and dining room. As you can see, looking through, I'm standing in my dining room, looking through the foyer and into the living room. I have not done my center piece yet here on my table. I'm gonna be doing that in the coming days sometime here. <laughs> uh, but this is a color that I chose to use as, a, as an accent color in these rooms, y'all, because I like these rooms to be decorated in a lighter and airier color scheme. I, you know, sometimes seasonally in the um, family room and the kitchen and all those areas, I tend to bring in the richer colors of fall the rusts and the burgundies and the deep reds and the golds and all of that. But in this room, as you'll see as we go into fall, I'm, I lighten the palette and I use a lot of that little bit of green and pinks and light blues and golds and whites and creams. I just I lighten the palette in these rooms. So that's why I go ahead and keep those sconces there all year round because they blend well and I just have a cream candle in them and they're not battery operated they're just regular candles in there and then we uh, recently bought these two mirrors that flank the sideboard so that kind of completes this wall the look of this wall and of course the wall paint color is it is perfect grayish from Sherwin Williams we got the swatch from Sherwin Williams and took it to Home Depot and had deep Home Depot mix it for us but y'all can see i've got some big fat molding in this room that i just really wanted to highlight in here we also have a ceiling that's uh chris painted just the inside of the what do they call that a coffered ceiling i don't know what they call that i'll flash it up if i'm wrong uh, but i really love this paint color of course it's this paint color is throughout this level of the house. So anyway, a little bit of explanation about the dining room. <laughs> I have just uh, burlap colored curtains. Not sure you can see that with the light coming in today. Excuse the snarf on the window there. I've got to clean that where Sam has been there barking at the UPS van or whatever. But uh, so anyway, of course I'm going to do a home tour after I'm finished all of my little vignettes here and you guys will you know, see everything for those of you who have never seen one of my home tours. So anyway, I wanted to, let me drop you down here a little bit while I talk to you about this sideboard and about this lamp here. That is very, very, very special to me. Again, with the camera angle, sorry, you guys, there we go. All righty, there we go. Now, this is a lamp that was my grandmother's. And this is this lamp is very, let me turn it out, that might be better, huh? Very, very special to me. 
I remember she used to keep it on her secretary and on her sideboard. She used to move it around her house. Well, I don't ever move this. Excuse the dust, it is a little dusty, goodness. I don't ever use move this. It's been on this sideboard of ours for since we moved in here. And I have no plans to move it. I may, one of these days, move it to a different place to do something different with it. But I really, really enjoy it here on this sideboard. I think it's highlighted nicely in the room and it lights up this part of the room too in the evening hours and when we have company over, I like just to turn a soft light on, you know, in the rooms, just so to have, just to have a light on to, you know, I think it makes people feel like they're more at home. Uh, I have it sitting in a tray, as you can, whoops, watch out, cotton, it fell out of there. I just left this, this cotton was already in here from the uh, arrangement I had in here for spring, so it just kind of fell out of there, I just left this in here. But I do have a tray underneath there. That I got the tray from Hobby Lobby and I have the bigger version of this tray I use for uh, my lantern centerpieces. This is the smaller size. I do not know that it is offered in Hobby Lobby. I have not seen it in Hobby Lobby as of late, y'all. So I don't expect that we'll be able to find it, but you could use any tray in this kind of capacity that you would like. I also have a Pipberry garland from thepipberrybarn.com. And this is kind of a blingy garland. It is silver with silver stars and I like that and I, I can't remember when I put if I put it in here for spring or if I had it in here for Christmas I can't remember right when I had it in here but uh, I just have it arranged in here and I, again I'm not going to take it out and re-put it in there it's just a garland and I'll put in how many inches it is 55 maybe inches and it's just a garland and I've just wrapped it around and you know, I flounced it out and made it look big and pretty. And I've also bent this corner up because I like, when I build these uh, centerpieces, I like to build kind of from the back left forward and over to the right. That's the way my eye likes it. Again, I'm not trained as a florist or a floral arranger. So, but that's just the way I always like to do them. So, and as you can see, I have family pictures up here of our girls and Chris and myself and my mom and I. This is the two of us. This was back in 2006. There we go. Wasn't she pretty, you guys? She was the most beautiful lady inside and out. And there she is with my dad. So anyway, I keep this in here all the time. Uh, this was a subby gift. I have some other subby gifts in here too. Where did I put them? Right here that I may add in, but I keep them here because this is, I may add this in because this is where I want to add um, some of these special things that you guys have given me. But right now I have them right here in the drawer, easily gotten to if I want them. So, uh, I have all of my, by the way, <laughs> All of my candy dishes for fall in the top drawer. And then in the next drawer, I have all of my Christmas di candy dishes and stuff like that. So just give you a glimpse of that. Uh, the candlesticks, you know what? I can't remember where I got these. Hudson, uh, I think I got them from Joann's maybe on sale. And then the candles came from Aunt and that. So uh, I also got these place mat or these uh, yeah place mats is what they are. Now I have everywhere else I've been using the quilted place mats, but they had uh, these just three of these that I could see, and so I went ahead and got them for here because they're a smidge bigger than the quilted ones, and uh, so I just. Let me get over here. I just ironed, I don't know whether you can see this. I ironed the edge of two of them. This is three, this is not a runner. This is three different placemats. And I ironed the edges of the two on the ends because they were just a smidge long. And it makes it, it gives you the illusion of a table runner. So I just ironed it over the edge so that, you know, it would fall over the edge because if not, it would have been sticking out straight and that would have looked not so wonderful. So, I did get those from and that, and I got these plates, these melamine, these are just melamine plates, and this was $2.99 from and that again, and this is again Waverly, it matches this perfectly. It's meant to match this, although they had them in different parts of the store, but 
So I just have two plates, you know, on either side. Again, the, the beautiful uh, goblet there was given to me by one of you guys. Pretty, pretty, pretty goblet. So I left that out. So all I'm going to do to this, also this, my aunt and uncle, uh, Stacy's parents gave me this beautiful bowl and I keep it out. I try to keep it out here all the time. There's sometimes I put it away at Christmas. I don't actually know. I think, I can't remember whether I do or not, but I usually have that sitting out there too. Now, again, you can see I put some cotton in here and this is kind of blingy cotton. It's kind of got, you know, some silvery gold looking bling coming up in there. And I have a couple of little lovebirds sitting here, uh, glue dotted to another ramekin. I did that the other day, and they're glue dotted. So they're going to sit up in this arrangement. And all I'm going to do, literally, you guys, all I'm going to do is I have a bouquet that I bought from, and that I believe on, no, AC Moore on Deep Sale. They're spring flowers. This was like in their spring flowers, and it was like 70 percent off or something like that it's just a little bundle of blue and white so I've already I could cut a few for something else and never use them so really and truly all I'm going to do I'm going to cut these lighter blue I've got three light blue roses let me cut those first and I'm taking this greenery off of them to be honest, I don't care for this color green so much to be, I don't want it to be a prominent color in this centerpiece. You know, I've been loving using my greenery. I've chosen to use a, a uh, Pitberry Garland in this one though, up here. So, I'm gonna start with just these three roses. And I'm just simply going to one there, one there, and one right here. And that really and truly is all I'm going to do with those. Now I'm going to fill in with the darker blues. Cut this down a little bit. And I've got four of these. So let's see what I can do with four. And I've got some berries, blue berries, but I've got white. I've got some white. So let me trim off some of the white. Okay. Yes, I like the cotton. I want the cotton to stay, but I also like the flounciness, if you will, of the, the white to bring a little bit of a lighter feel in. Again, I'm not educated. I'm just doing what I feel looks nice. And then I've got some blueberries. I've got a couple of, only two, three. I've got three, hang on. Over here on the edge. There we go. Now all I have left is some like daisy looking, kind of a gray color. Let's see. And I have some blue like, well, we'll just use everything. How about that? We'll fit it all in. Taking all this green off though, y'all, I will say. I don't care for that color. Yes, I'm picky with, I love using the green, but I'm picky with my colors. <laughs> Probably way too picky for some folks' taste, but that's just me. There we go. Just a little, I think I'll use these like as fillers, like in the back a little bit. 
just to bring a little interest there and maybe right here in the center. And then back in the back a little bit, just to fill in there. And this here, maybe. And one more little piece of blue. And that's it, y'all. I think that's fine. I think it's super pretty, actually. Oops. I really like that. Oh, soft and pretty. And I used every bit of it. Look at that. All right, so that, my friends, will do that. Push that in just a smidge further. There we go. Soft and pretty and just subtle. You know? All right, so let me do some final words, and then I'll take a video, you know, down the table so that y'all can see it a little better. Let me put you up here a little bit. This was probably not a very long video. don't have to be long, huh? All righty, there we go. <laughs> Just a little something something for you today. Thank you guys so much for stopping by to visit. And I feel like you're here with me when I'm doing this and I'm chatting with you and just, you know, just mumbling and yammering on along, you know, with y'all. And yes, I can hear you answering me. And yes, I can hear you giving me direction, Linda. Linda Martin. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I hope I did what you asked me to do. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me just say that I hope that all is well with everyone. And that I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.